Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've been away for a while. Well actually I haven't been away for members. I've been creating some members only content and very active in the WhatsApp group related to mainly DSP and Bach SP, which I've mentioned in prior videos. It was my product of the year, favorite at Capital Audio Fest. I bought it myself, have now had it for a few weeks, been uh, spending sometimes up till 2 a.m. in the morning with Edgar, uh, the Princeton professor that I talked about and introduced you guys to in the demo room. Uh, amazing guy. Just truly amazing. That's Usually when we're having these conversations that sometimes last well over an hour or so, it's mostly 5% of me talking and 95% of me listening to him and just absorbing stuff that so enlightening to me being kind of Mr. DSP, as I've always been a fan of, but it, this is a whole new level of DSP, guys, um, that I'm going to talk to you about in a little more detail because now I've had a, a couple weeks with it and some hot off the press news for you guys. Um, I'm going to be representing this product. I am going to be the Texas dealer, at least Texas, I know for sure, probably Louisiana, uh, the home dealer for this product because it was just a match made in heaven as we were talking one night and he was telling me about his dealers around the world and how it was uh, nice for him to have somebody, a customer like myself that understood the product, DSP and whatnot. And so once we kind of just started putting things together, it just made sense for me to represent this product because it's not only the product itself, and I'm going to tell you about it in more detail. You've heard from Pete the Greek in that Zoom call. If you haven't watched that, you heard about it in my um, Capital Audio Fest report. You're going to hear, I'm going to throw in a couple of excerpts of two people that already came into my room. Both of them work at 3MA. Carl, the analog guy, not really a digital fan, not a DSP fan at all in terms of generally speaking. You're going to hear straight from his mouth what he thought. Uh, Luis, who you've seen in many videos, sets up tons of systems, mega dollar systems. You're going to hear what he said about the system with the Bach SP. Because as me representing it, um, that's nothing I ever did this channel to try to become a dealer. And I'm not a hustler by nature in terms of for this kind of my hobby. You know, I've got my own business that I'm successful with and I hustle that. I don't really need to do this, but this is a product I believe in, not just because it creates outstanding results. There are many products that create outstanding results and I don't become a dealer of them. But this is the future of audio without question. Uh, this is a paradigm shifting product and it's going to be something that almost 95% of people embrace and especially non-audiophiles. As you heard with Pete the Greek, his, his wife now wants to listen to his system when he's not around. His kids are listening to three and four in the morning. I've been listening to four and even 4.30 in the morning, uh, just learning, listening, and so many things to tell you about with this product other than what I've talked about and most people talk about the spatial aspects and the almost uncanny realism and 3D aspects. It's more than that of the product. In, in fact, the binaural mics that give you in-ear results that are flat down to 20 hertz are extremely valuable. You can even see some measurements here, impulse response that you could take. Getting results in your ear for what your system and room is doing is so valuable because then you can take them out of your ear and measure what a normal mic would measure. And you realize the ear canal effect, the shape of your ears, so many things, and then head shadow effect. So many things are a lot different than what a typical mic captures. And so this is next level just on that front. Also, this is a binaural recorder. I ca I was recording it, me snapping my fingers in my ears and then replaying it on my system and hearing it appear right next to my ears. That's how uncanny. That's how realistic. And it's not just with gimmicky tracks, although binaural tracks are going to be very impressive on this. And Edgar, the Princeton professor, he's actually on the credits for many David Chesky recordings now because David Chesky has embraced this. Speaking of other people that have embraced this, Elon Musk, it's going to be in a Tesla. It's a paradigm shifting product that, like I said, it's almost going to have universal acclaim. I'm going to give you a couple of third party initial uh, feedback, but I'm going to have plenty of videos on this because it's so much more uh, involved in terms of not complex to use, but 
it's so paradigm shifting. I need to break this up into different videos to walk you through all the things I've learned and more importantly, what's to come. In a lot of respects, I told Edgar this, this is almost like investing in Amazon.com when they were just selling books and putting out of business uh, borders and all these other traditional brick and mortar bookstores. You knew they were best at doing that back then, but you could also see the potential and the things that Edgar and them are working on at the Princeton I'm going to be visiting him in March and going to see his lab and research facility and see behind the scenes. It is just freaky, some of the things that they're working on. But this is the basis of it. The man has skyrocketed. Everybody that gets in front of it has wanted it. And again, if you're interested in it, um, contact me because I'm going to offer some value-added services in addition to the Bach SP. We're working on that, the specifics with uh, Edgar and, um, you know, kind of, whatever we're going to do here. And now I also may work with the guys at 3MA for a brick and mortar presence as well. But a lot of those things are going to be worked out down the road. But again, if you're interested in this, want to do a home demo, just contact me. You'll get to be able to do exactly what I'm going to show you real quick. I'll break into this uh, video real quick and let you hear straight from Carl and Luis. All right, guys, we're back here with the Bach, my playlist, and I got my first visitor here. You'll recognize Carl from 3MA. <laughs> and we've only done about two or three songs, so not even the gimmicky stuff yet. Well, one of them, but uh, what did you think, Carl? It's stunning. Yeah, it's a must-have. Um, okay. You got it. And you're, you're an analog guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm a turntable guy. So. Okay. This is all DSP, FYI. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. You're, you're... So yeah, I'm... It's, <laughs> it's, a it's, it's a must-have, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's a must-have. Okay. It's, it's so stunning. It's so cool. I mean, you're so immersed in the music. It's there's it's no competition a, for this kind of sound, no matter what budget you have. No, I, I've heard some pretty expensive systems, and I mean, the sweet spot is the sweet spot, but this is the ultimate sweet spot. <laughs> All right, thanks, Carl. We'll keep get back to listening. <laughs> All right, we're back with second opinion, second person to take a listen to the Bach in my room. You recognize 3MA, Luis. Well, this this was quite interesting. Um, you know, we when we, whenever we go set up customer systems, and and we do all types of price points uh, from you know a couple thousand all the way to a hundred thousand, several hundred thousand. I mean, one of the things that we really, really, really work hard on is trying to get as realistic as possible and i think that's one of the key things that a lot of speaker manufacturers try to do um you know that's that's where we're always chasing after i've never heard anything sound as real as as it does with the bach sp i mean it literally sounds like there are dimensions to the sound that you just you're just unable to get with natural or, or just traditional way of setting up systems. I've set up multiple systems um, and heard, you know, multiple systems and, and very expensive gear. There's just no way that anything comes anywhere near this. It, you know, I, I truly am a believer in, and, you know, we'll, we'll probably hear this soon at, at our store because it's that good. It's that good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, it's just something that sells itself. All you have to do is sit in the chair, listen, and close your eyes. Yeah. And uh, you listen to it, you're sh you have no idea. Exactly. All right. Well, thanks for coming by, guys. Glad you enjoyed. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, guys. Like I said, I'm not a hustler by trade. I don't like to hard sell anybody. I don't like to precondition you. But... Third party, and I don't even show you ever people that come hear my system, you know, what they think and whatnot. Uh, I'm just not in it. I don't need all that self-validation and, and whatnot. But here I think it's important because this is a product that I want you to just come in here, try. All you have to do is close your eyes. I don't have to do any selling for you. It's going to sell itself. But let's talk about a little bit of the nuances of what you can expect 
Uh, if you don't want to be preconditioned, you know, cut off the video now and, and you plan on coming to visit me, just uh, you want to be totally surprised, you know, cut off the video now. What I do want to walk through is what you can expect on a wide range of recordings. Yes, they're going to be the gimmicky binaural recordings that truly almost put things in your ear or even behind your head, all kinds of uh, amazing, um, just <laughs> mind-blowing. And in fact, let me break off right quick and say, in some respects, that could almost be too much for audiophiles. Because one thing Edgar and I were talking about is that probably the only people that would give him grief about this are audiophiles. We have listened to in between the speakers for, you know, thousands of hours. We have listened to our favorite songs and mostly the presentation is in between the two speakers, heavily densified, super dense and uh, middle image, and everything's crammed in there, even with orchestras. Occasionally you'll hear instruments over here or there, and you get excited when you hear a recording like that, or your system doing that, or layering, a little bit of layering. This is a whole different level, like almost you can touch the person in front of you, uh, here to the left, the right, get a true sense of where things are. One of the fun things we did was I played a YouTube video of a binaural recording of just ping pong balls being scraped together. And you could see on the screen how it was being recorded close to the mic and the ears of the mic and not. And then play it. It's playing and you're hearing that exact same thing as it's being recorded. Uh, truly accurate when you have the visual of it being recorded live and now you can hear it in your ear. Truly spectacular. But outside of those binaural recordings, what can you expect? Well, it's going to be a hodgepodge because this is not adding anything to the signal. This is not a gimmick in terms of adding, processing, and creating phantom images. What it's really doing is getting rid of that phantom heavily densified center image that we're so used to hearing and actually giving you more of what's in the recording about the venue information, the amount of details that you've always missed and thought you heard. No, this is a whole nother level of because I think you heard it in the tour of the uh, Magico facility. Uh, Elon, uh, Elon said that you could only get time alignment with DSP at the listening position. And that's kind of one of the side benefits of this, getting rid of comb filtering, all kinds of, it's all done in the time domain. Frequency response is not affected at all. You can play a mono signal through this, doesn't change anything. Um, and you can sit off axis and not have any tonality problems. So you may not get the same, you know, this does, see it's tracking my, uh, it's got a video camera that tracks your head position. And little, you move just a little bit, it recalculates every little move you make to keep that same interaural crosstalk. And so at the basic level, if you haven't watched my previous videos, what this is doing, like I said, it's not adding anything, but what it's doing is preventing, uh, canceling out what your left ear is hearing from the right speaker and what your right ear is hearing from the left speaker in your room. Because those are two things that corrupt true stereo imaging. And it corrupts a lot of what's on the recording that you're not hearing. And it's just amazing where you might have just heard a drum where you thought it was a heavily densified drum in the middle. And now you're going to hear, oh my God, that was actually like 10 drums. Uh, but now you hear so much precision, the timing, all the details, the spaciousness of the venue now. You get to hear true reverb in the, in the actual venue versus creating fake reverb because of your room, you want to give that extra thing so you have a live room to kind of give you that feel. No, now you're going to be able to extract that from the recording if it has that. And in some cases, not that you won't like it, but you're going to be like freaked out as to, is that right? Um, because I know in one recording, Elvis Fever, I was hearing the bass guitar like down over here, low, you know, low to the left. And I'm like, that's weird. Why would it be recorded like that? But sure enough, uh, Pete the Greek sent me a picture of Elvis recording uh, that song for that album. And the mic was hung in the middle. Elvis was looking up at the mic. And then the bass guitar was over to his right, up a little forward, down. And then you play a bass guitar, um, uh, a standing bass. 
is really uh, the acoustic instrument, not electric bass, uh, a standing bass. And you play that, like a cello and all those, uh, down low. And so now you realize, oh my God, that was the relation of the instrument to the mic. And that's how it was recorded. So you're going to start second guessing what is right or not, because usually what this is extracting from the recording now is going to be right. And whatever your system was doing before that gave it sound stage that you got ex excited about, this is going to take it to a whole new level. There really some tracks obviously don't have a lot of venue information or spatial aspects, but EDM, when you get that timing right and the other advantages that it brings, you get so much texture and tone to the bass and imaging of bass. Now, that's another thing that is going to be part of my value added service because I'm getting flat bass response left and right in my room, zero to over 200 hertz. I guarantee you most people don't get near that. And But I do it with DSP and using the mini DSP SHD, which still is a vital part of the performance I'm getting here, not in creating the spatial aspect, but that is affecting the frequency response and Dirac does imp help impact the impulse response. So it's a village here. It takes a village sometimes to create the perfection that you heard about um, from Luis and Carl. But I'm going to go into details in the weeds a little bit more on all that. I just wanted to share up front with you the latest news. I am going to be a dealer for this. You can contact me um, if you're interested in doing an audition and uh, buying one. And then I'm going to go into the different products that they have in more detail. I'm going to have Edgar on a Zoom. You can hear straight from his mouth. I'll have some of my members that can ask questions and hopefully they'll parrot a lot of them that you do. You can start asking me questions now, emailing me, whatever you want um, in terms of interest. But I will be at the Florida Audio Show coming up next week. So give me a shout out if you see me. Um, I'll be there with all the guys, uh, Doug, Dave, uh, Peppy you've seen on the show. Luis is going to be there with 3MA, Johnny, uh, I think even Jose, some other people are going to be there. So be sure to say hi. Hope you enjoyed. Sign up, subscribe if you did, if you haven't already, and I'll see you back here soon.